It's been around five months since the first dose of COVID-19 vaccine was administered in Thailand. But only around 14% of older adults have been inoculated so far. From the information available as of July 7, 2021, the elderly population of Thailand is around 11 million, while only around 1.6 million have had their first dose of COVID-19 vaccine and just around 106,000 have had their second. The number of vaccinated elderly raised public concern when statistics showed that 70 is the average age of COVID-19 fatalities. Though just over 20,500 elderly people have been infected with COVID-19 in Thailand so far, the numbers show that elderly people carry a higher risk of death and most of the elderly live in Bangkok, which is a COVID-19 high-risk zone. The data also shows that more than half of the elderly who contract COVID-19 got it from relatives, caretakers, or people who are close to them, and most of them live in their own home. As for nursing homes, which are stricter with the disease control measures than the average household, they are working with state agencies to find COVID-19 vaccines for their residents. Research by the Thailand Development Research Institute, or TDRI, shows that the spread of COVID-19 has an effect on elderly people in many ways. Most cannot go to hospital for a normal checkup because many hospitals are having to postpone appointments to prioritize COVID-19 cases and to reduce hospital overcrowding. Social distancing also affects their mental health as they cannot socialize with their peers like they used to. And many of them who can still work have been without work during the pandemic. The most concerning cases are bedridden elders as they are not be able to get their normal level of care because of the social distancing measures. The researchers advise that the long-term care system, medical services, and transportation for the elderly should be priority now, as Thailand is rapidly becoming an aging society. If you are caring for an older loved one, you should take all the precautions you can to avoid becoming infected yourself, and practice physical distancing but not social isolation to protect them from severe COVID-19 symptoms.